Today we're going to be separating the point and the flat on a brisket. Hi, I'm Dave from Hector Smokehouse and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a Wagyu brisket and we're going to separate the point away from the flat. There can be different reasons why you want to do that. One reason may be that you're in a competition and in a competition you may want to get that perfect smokering around your flat. So you're going to separate the point away from the flat so the smokering is even and consistent. And also you can trim the flat so it fits perfectly into the handing box. For the point, it may be that you want to turn the point into bent ends and you want the most perfect and um, square bent ends. So you can trim the point first. Also, you then be able to cook it a lot quicker if you've separated the two from each other. The other reason might be to split the separate, separate the point from the flat is if you wanted to do something like um, pastrami. So in the case of pastrami, most people would be using something like the brisket flat. So you can separate the brisket flat. You can go through the pickling process and then through the smoking process to make the most delicious pastrami. So whichever you want to do, this is the me method that I use for separating the point from the flat. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell so that you're informed every time I upload a new video. So this is a Cher Wagyu point end brisket. What you can see here is this area here is the actual point and you can see the striations running across the meat. The flat is underneath and the flat runs in this direction. So what we're going to do is cut from this fat layer and separate the point underneath going across this way away from the flat. So if I turn this over you should be able to see here this is the flat running along and you can see the striations going that way and then here you've got the point end this is the point and it runs along here and you can see this layer of fat that runs just here that's the separation between the point that wraps over the top and the flat underneath so what we're going to do is cut between here and separate the point away from the flat Okay, to start with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to remove some of this fat. So I'm going to take some of the fat off this point, and I'm also going to trim down the flat part down here and take some of the, the fat off there to make it a lot easier to work with. So I'll quickly go through there. I'll speed up the, the video to show you me actually trimming this off. So what you can start to see now is you can see underneath you've got the flat and you can see the striations running that way. So it's running along the length and they're running that way underneath. All of this up here is the point and the point's running across the opposite way. So often when you see a brisket video, you'll see the brisket being cut this way across the flat. So it's across the grain. And then when you get to around about here and you point gets a lot bigger. You can see the points running this way, so you start trimming this way across the point. So it makes sure that the striations you're cutting across the grain when you're actually doing that. So you can see this started to tidy up. You can see the, the flat underneath there, and this is the fat seam here is where the point 
and the flat actually meet, and we're going to try and trim that out of there. And then down here also is the flat, and this is normally where you'd leave some meat on if you're um, going to cook this uh, in a competition or something, you want to leave about a quarter of an inch on here. So what I'll do now is I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to start to tidy up underneath here as well. So you can see the flat running across there. So we'll start to tidy this up and then we'll start to look at separated, separating a point from the flat. So what we'll do is just start to trim some of this out of the flat end and tidy up the bottom of here. So again, I'll do a quick um, speed the video up so you can actually see this a lot faster rather than the slow motion. So as you trim in underneath here, underneath the flat, try to bend the meat up um, so that it's raised and then it's a lot easier to actually trim those higher spots where the fat is. Um, so just try to bend it and put your fingers underneath. Okay, so this is now getting a lot clearer. You can see this is the flat and you can see all the striations going through. And you can see here, this is the fat layer between the point here and the flat. So next, we'll just finish tidying this up and then we'll start to separate. So if this was for a competition, I'd spend a lot more time cleaning this up and um, but what I'm doing with this this is going to be in another video which is a pastrami video so you should be able to actually um, see the video and a link for the video should be down in the corner somewhere and you should be able to actually see the link coming up at the top for the video for the pastrami so I've diff seen different ways of, of actually um, doing this where we're actually trying to separate the point from the flat and I've seen it done on the other side starting at this end of the point and then rolling it up as you go along. This time I'm going to start from this top end. So what we can see here is you can see the whole of the flat there. The vein is of fat is going through there. This is all of the flat and the striations going that way. This is the point. So what we're going to do is try and go through here and then I'm going to try and pull up the try and pull up the um, actual flat as I'm going along and lifting it away. So you can see the fat layer here, and we're gonna to start to go through there. And you can see where it is underneath here as well. So what we're trying to do is just separate the meat and pull it away. And you know, if you've got a, a reasonable knife, you should be able to go through and start pulling these two pieces away from each other, just using the tip of your knife as you actually go through. And this is now the flat and we're trying to peel the flat away from the actual point itself. So again, we're just trying to move it away from itself. So that's your point. And then this is the flat and we're just trying to pull these away. So what I'll do now is I'll just throw it over. And you can see what's happening now. So you can see there's the flat running across there. Here's the point here. We've got it more or less trimmed back. And we're just trying to take off these last pieces. And it's getting really thin now. So it's getting to the point where it doesn't matter too much. But you can see it's separating away from that, the flat muscle. 
and it's going through. And I think we're just about right the way through now. So there you go. There's the point separated away from the flat. Move the knife out of the way, spin that over. So there's the, you can see there that's the actual flat. Here's the point muscle. And you can see the point muscle is quite thick um, at this end and then it runs along and turns into a very thin piece of skirt. So really when you get in the burnt ends, you're taking them out of this end when you're doing the burnt ends. And if you want to, you can actually cut into there and butterfly it out to make it a bigger piece. So that separates the two. What I'm gonna do now is just carry on doing a, a little bit of trimming of these, ready for the next cut. So this piece is the flat, and what I'm gonna do is just trim this down a little bit. I'm gonna turn this one in particular into pastrami, and you'll see a video coming up um, with a link, so you should be able to actually see the pastrami video. So what I'm gonna do is just trim this up and <clears throat> make it a bit more boxy so it's easy for me to cut up when I'm, I finish the pastrami. I'm gonna take a, a little piece off the end of here as well, so this'll go for my dog. Um, he likes this uh, minced up and uses that. So we'll trim this shape-wise, and also we're gonna trim underneath it so that we can make the pastrami. If you was in a competition, then most of your um, uh, slices for a competition would come out of this sort of section. So again, you can trim this up nicely to fit what you want and just have this cooked separately as the um, flat for handing in your slices. So what we'll do is I'll turn it over and I'm gonna to start to trim up underneath here. Um, I'm making a pastrami, so I'm gonna take all of the fat off here and just tidy it all up underneath here um, because I'm using it for pastrami. So that's the piece that goes to the dog. As you can see, this is um, uh, Wagyu, by share Wagyu, and you can see it's got some nice marbling inside the brisket. So what I'm gonna do is just trim it to a bit more of a, a box shape. So I'm gonna take some of this off the edge of here. So I'm gonna make it a bit more oblongy, rectangular, and just some off the edge of there as well. <clears throat> um, and then I'll do the same here as well. I'm gonna use the bits that I've chopped off either for um, for the dog, but then also this is really good to grind and turn into burgers. It makes amazing smash burgers out of this as well, or a really good brisket chili. So if you was doing a competition, you may spend a lot more time really making this tidy and um, making it absolutely perfect, but this is gonna turn into pastrami, so I'm not gonna to be too bothered about making it incredibly neat and tidy. But it still looks pretty good anyway. And I do love all the fat veins actually running through this Wagyu brisket. I think for that side, that doesn't look too bad. Take a tiny little bit more off there. And 
and we should be pretty close. So that side's not looking too bad. This side already looks reasonably good for what I'm going to do with this. So yeah, so there you go. That's separating the point from the flat. That is the actual flat muscle. Um, you know, you can really see the way it runs. And say if you're in a competition, you're going to be slicing everything across here. You're going to come out of this area here. But you can cook this separately. Um, and because it's Wagyu, it's still got a lot of actual fat content in there. So that doesn't look too bad, I think. And um, that looks quite nice. And that's going to be turned into pastrami. So we've done the flat and that's going to be used for pastrami. What I'll do is now going to tidy up this um, point end. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm probably going to use it for burnt ends over the weekend. So I might put it into a vacuum bag after I've trimmed it and use it for burnt ends. Um, but what we'll do now is go through just trimming this up and tidying this up as well. So when you're actually doing this point and you want to do burnt ends, it's always better to try and take off uh, as much fat as you can because the fat became, becomes a barrier between the flavors from your rub um, and the actual meat itself. So it's always good to take it right down. And obviously the, the point is the fatty end of the brisket and is known as the fatty end of the brisket. And as such has a lot more fat content in there. So it can take a lot more, um, a lot more heat and a lot more cooking and because it's so much fat in there and it keeps the moisture in there. So there you go, that gives you a, an idea of trimming down um, the point. This end is really thin, um, like paper thin. So probably I'm just gonna, you know, tidy this up a little bit. You can see that's quite thin. But again, you could use this for um, burgers, mince it for burgers, and it'd be incredibly tasty. So you've now got a separated point from the flat that you can cook separately and do different things with. So there you go, I think that looks pretty good. Um, it's there, what we can do now is we can actually look at, if we wanted to, actually butterflying this end and butterflying it out a little bit more so it's a little bit longer and a bit more equal. And then you can trim it into shape so that um, you can use it for burnt ends and make them nice and equal. Okay, so what we'll do now is just try and make this um, equal all the way across. So we'll just try and butterfly this end out a little bit um, to make it nice and an equal piece. That's equaled it out a little bit, tidied it up. And obviously if we was doing a competition, we could now trim this into shape and make it look a lot more tidier um, as we go through there. Again, anything that you cut off can be used for amazing burger mixes because there's some lovely fat actually in there. So 
There you go, it's starting to look a lot more tidier. Take a little bit off this end as well. And some nice fat content in there. So if you're doing um, beggars or something, that'll be perfect for the beggar mix that's going into there. So we're just about there. Um, that's reasonably tidy now. A little bit off the end as well. What you're left with is a nice piece of point end brisket that can go into the smoker and be cooked separately. So there you go, that separates the point from the flap. So you can see here, you've got a nice um, rectangular shaped um, piece of flap that I'm gonna use for a pastrami. Then we've got a, a nice shaped piece of the point which we can actually use for doing burnt ends. So it's not too hard to separate them. A little bit of work, but it's not really, really difficult. Um, hopefully you'll be able to watch other videos on this. I'll be able to show you a cook of just doing a flat by itself on a brisket. And I'm also gonna do a cook where I'm just gonna do the burnt ends um, from this small piece as well. And then there's also a video coming up on pastrami and how to do pastrami. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you was able to follow it pretty well. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell in the corner to make sure that you sent an email every time I put a new video out. Thanks for tuning in to watch this video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.